Moving on to this new at six for you. A spike in school vandalism. Two schools hit three times in three days. Let's check in with KCRA3's Tom Duhaney. He's live now in Woodland with a look at some of the damage and possible suspects. Tom? Well, this is Whitehead Elementary. They were broken into, uh, let's see, Monday, let's see, once again, Saturday morning, Monday night. The principal told me today he's wondering what's going to happen next, but just maybe the suspects were seen on security video nearby. Could these suspects caught on security video early Monday at a middle school be the same people who vandalized Whitehead Elementary the same night? Police think it's likely. This is where vandals broke in twice, the second time pushing away temporary plywood and then once again trashing this classroom, which the staff worked hard to clean up before students arrived. I feel bad for the kids in that one classroom that keeps getting broken into, so we talked to them about that as well and that they're safe. The vandals then broke three windows, and they even used this table to smash out the thick glass into the principal's office, where they stole random items, including an iPad and two football helmets. Total losses, perhaps $3,000. Parents and grandparents are upset. They take from the children, they take from the people. I think they need more security cameras or, on, on, you know, uh, somebody undercover or something, you know. About a mile away, a similar scene at Lee Middle School. This is where security cameras caught the three suspects entering and leaving. Investigators say it was a female and two males with their faces covered. They broke into the boys' and girls' locker rooms, causing damage. The Woodland Joint Unified District says its 17 schools are vulnerable because they're open to the community and they can't afford overnight security. So they're asking parents and neighbors to be on alert. You want them to have access to the campuses, uh, and at the same time, you want, want them to be safe and secure. So, so uh, communication is our best way to get the word out to keep your eyes open. And Woodland Police say it's an ongoing investigation here. School authorities, in the meantime, are hoping the neighbors around all these schools will help keep an eye on them to alert police that there's something unusual. Reporting live in Woodland, Tom Duhane, KCRA 3 News. Good information. Thanks, Tom.